Hello everyone, this is Richard from Taiwan again and uh, I just uh, talked about uh, the tech questions, the grammar, okay? So right now I'll continue talking about uh, tech questions but uh, this time I want to like uh, do some exercise with you guys I mean I have some quizzes and questions so let's do the exercises together, okay? So let's see if you can really understand how to use tech questions, okay? So let's do it right now and hopefully you can get everything correct and hopefully you can get full marks, okay? So let's do it right now. Okay, so let's talk about tech questions and uh, I have already told you something about that. So right now I want to give you some quizzes and questions and let's see if, if you can get these questions or quizzes correctly okay so let's do it so let's see the question number one you have nothing to do and please tell me what the answer is a are you b um to c do you? D, don't you? So, can you tell me what is the tech question of this sentence? And of course, we know that uh, if we want to do a tech question like this, you have to pay attention to the tense and to the verb here. And we see the verb is have, right? And the tense is present tense, right? So right now, what you have to do now is to use the word do because we know the subject is you right so present tense all the time we use do or does and right now we use do or don't right and let's see the main sentence here actually the main sentence it looks like a positive sentence but actually let me tell you pay attention to the word nothing nothing is a negative word so that is why this word makes the whole sentence as a negative sentence so the sentence is a negative sentence so that's the reason why we have to use a positive tag question you're right so right now we use do or don't think about it we use do or don't hello Hanif we use do or don't think about it and write it in your comments okay yeah because the main sentence is a negative sentence so we use a positive tag question here so we use do do you okay do you so the answer is C here you have nothing to do do you okay the answer is C okay so let's talk about uh, sentence number two and let's see if you can get a correct answer okay so number two let me read the sentence for you there isn't anything left blank and what's the answer uh, viewers and watchers please you think about it in your mind because all the time if you want to improve your English, you have to think about it in your, it is like by your own. And you have to try to figure out what the answer is, okay, in your brain. So let's do it, okay? Which one is the answer? You think about it first. And then I'll explain the rules for you. And uh, today's topic is about tech questions, okay? Okay, first of all, let us pay attention to the tense here and right now it is a present tense and we have a be verb here so whenever you see a be verb of course we use the be verb as well okay and uh, the main sentence is a negative sentence right isn't it's a negative sentence so we use a positive form in our tech question okay in our tech question so we should use what yes we use is we use is okay so b and the d 
they are incorrect. Let's talk about A or C. And whenever, this is a very important tip, okay? Whenever you use there as a beginning of one sentence, then in a tag question, we also use there. We also use there, okay? That is a very important and basic rule for tag questions, okay? So the answer is, is there, is there, okay? So did you get the correct answer already? The answer is C, okay? The answer is C, okay? And let's see how many questions can you get, okay? So let's see the question number three. And please pay attention because tech questions are so important in lots of tests and exams. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the question number three. You have to go to school for table tennis training this morning, blank. Okay? So all the time we talk about the tense and the verb first. And uh, that's the main point to form a tech question. Okay, have to, have to. And here, have is a regular verb. Here, have is a regular verb, okay? So all the time you use do or does, okay, in this kind of present tense. So right now we can understand that C and D are incorrect we only can choose a or b and then let's make sure whether or not the main sentence is a correct uh, sorry a positive sentence yeah it is a positive sentence because you cannot see any negative word here so the answer is when your main sentence is a positive sentence like this then we use what? How about number three? What's the answer? A, do you? Or B, don't you? Yeah, the answer is don't you. Very good. I can see that so people get the correct answer and congratulations. Let's see question number four, okay? Number four, and let's see how fast you can do. Number four, I'll read the sentence for you. Hello, my friends. It's very nice to see you here. Right now, my topic is tech questions. So if you want to join me, please uh, leave your comments and give me your answer. And let's talk about it, okay? Number four. Your cousin has borrowed these books. Blank. Okay? I hope you can think about the answer first. And then I'll explain why okay because all the time you practice on your own first if you get the if you get the wrong answer then i can explain the rules for you about uh, tech questions okay okay time is up let me see your cousin has borrowed so let's see the tense and the verbs first here the tense is like has borrowed you can see the past participle here, right? The past participle, we often call it PP, right? So here, has is not a regular verb, okay? So this kind of tense, we call it as present perfect tense, okay? So if we want to form a tech question, please you use has here, okay? You use has here you don't use don't or do okay so then we just uh, cross out a cross out c we only have b and the d so then let's decide what the subject is okay what the pronoun is your cousin your cousin it's not like you it's not you it's your cousin so the pronoun should be he or she so the answer is hasn't she okay number four the answer is hasn't she because your cousin can be a boy can be a girl 
if both are okay so the answer is b here congratulations i think uh lots of my friends in this live stream got the correct answer congratulations and uh, if you if you got the wrong answer don't feel frustrated because i still have lots of questions for you you can still try it okay so let's see number five number five let me read the sentence for you okay Preston would hey Preston is my friend from nepal right now he is going live so that's the reason why every people just uh, goes to his live stream i'm so frustrated <laughs> just kidding okay Preston would like to move to taiwan blank okay blank so can you guys tell me what is the answer find it out first okay find it out first i know you know the answer because you are so smart yeah so let's see what's what the tense here okay what the tense is here okay would like yeah we see would so all the time we know we have to use this word to form a tag question. So that's cross out C, that's cross out D. So the answer should be A or B. And let's check it out. The main sentence is a negative sentence or is a positive sentence here. Preston would like to move to Taiwan. Obviously, it is a positive sentence so we should use negative sentence in our tag question right so the answer is what a the answer is a wow you're so smart lots of people get the correct answer congratulations okay let's see question number six number six okay number six much of the food in this supermarket isn't very expensive okay so my friends please you check the question first and you tell me the answer number six okay number six what's the answer please comment it okay leave your answer in the comments okay you know that's the very important to to practice by yourself first then you can do some brainstorming about this question okay okay very good number six let's see the tense and the verb here okay the tense is present tense and the verb is be verb okay the be verb isn't so you understand that the main sentence is a negative right isn't it's a negative sentence so remember we have to use a positive tech question here positive so first of all we cross out B, we cross out D, we only have A or C, right? And we see the subject here. The subject is much of the food, much of the food. Food is a collective noun, or in other words, you, we can say it is an uncountable noun here in this sentence, okay? So we cannot use lay here because food here in this sentence is a collective or we can say in other words an uncountable word here so we only can use it as the subject as a pronoun in our tag question so what is the answer for question uh, sorry for question six what's the answer can you tell me we we have already crossed out d a b and d choose one choose one between the two answers yeah you're right the answer is C very good okay so it's not that difficult okay so we still have three questions left try it okay number seven Richard makes little money by teaching blank yeah just like me I'm Richard and I make little money by teaching. Seriously, that is true. I'm so poor right now. So if you are rich, please donate some money to me, okay? I really need money. I want to like uh, earn more money. <laughs> Hopefully I can earn more money. 
by teaching. Okay, so viewers, please number seven, pick out your answer first, and do some brainstorming first. Okay, you can do it. I know that because tag questions are very important sentence patterns. So you have to do it. Okay, you have to try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Let's see the tense first. The tense is the present tense, and we have a regular verb here. So we use do, oh, sorry, do or does, and because our subject is Richard, so we use does. Okay, we use does here. So let me cross out C. Let me cross out D. The answer, the answers are like A or B. So should I use does he or should I use doesn't he? So viewers and watchers, please for number seven, write down your answers. Please write down your answers. Please. This question, I mean question seven, is very important. Lots of people, you know, it's like you cannot get the correct answer for number seven seven okay let me see your answer because number seven is a very very important sentence patterns in tech question can you really find out the real answer for number seven do it and if you can get a correct answer then i will know you truly understand this sentence pattern okay number seven Okay, some people say that's B. Hello, Nam Nam. Some people say that's B. Most people say that the answer is B. Then let me tell you, B is an incorrect answer. In other words, B is wrong. The answer is A. Wow. You see, it's really hard. So that's the reason why. You have to listen to my previous lesson, okay? In my previous lesson, I have already talked about it. The answer is A, not B. You see, it's like almost everyone answer the answer is B. No, the answer is A. Why? Let me tell you why. Because we have to find out which words, which word make this main sentence become a negative sentence. Let me tell you this word, little. Okay, in English, little and few are also negative words. So, because of the word little, this sentence, this main sentence, becomes a negative sentence. So, that's the reason why we cannot use does and he, we have to use does he. So number seven, the answer is A, okay? It is very, very difficult. So number seven is very important. Pay attention, okay? So let's see number eight. Okay, number eight, let me read the sentence for you. Richard is cute. Oh, oh sorry, I am cute. Mm. <laughs> okay, I am cute. What is the tech question in this blank. Please type A, B, C, or D in the comment, please. And this is also a very important sentence pattern in tech questions, okay? Think about it first, okay? I am cute. Are I not? Aren't I? And, and <laughs> or aren't I? <laughs> Uh, let me tell you, C and D are incorrect because we don't have a word like this. And uh, we don't use this word very often. Actually, some colloquial English, we use this word. Okay, in some colloquial English, we use this word. But we never use this word in like a very formal essay or, you know, like paragraph. Okay, so I think the answer is A or B. Okay, what is the answer for number eight? Let me tell you, A or B, because C cross out C cross out D. You only can choose between A and the B. What's the answer? No, 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 I have already told you that it's not D. 
okay it's not the because we only use like this aunt like in colloquial English we don't use it in like the formal English so it's not the so can you tell me a or b why lots of people use d it's not d okay f oh <laughs> some people x f okay no we don't have f we don't have option f here okay let me tell you the answer is aunt i so if you got the wrong answer please memorize that in mind let me tell you there are two kinds of answers in this sentence pattern please remember that the first one the first one is aunt i it is correct the other answer please viewers and watchers remember that okay one answer for this i main sentence i is aunt i the other is am i not if a is am i not then a is also a correct answer so can you understand me this is very important please catch me up for question number eight i am cute we have two kinds of answers for this and they are both correct one is um i the other is am i not okay okay this is very important please remember this okay so that's the reason why i give you a quiz like this okay this is very important okay hopefully you can understand uh, my point okay so let's talk about uh, question number nine okay number nine this is not going to happen blank okay viewers and watchers please find out your answer first and please type your answer in the comments and uh, when you thinking about uh, the answer let me charge my mobile first my ball oh my mobile is like out of battery right now so number nine please my viewers and my watchers you check the answer and you type the answer for me okay number nine number nine and uh okay i'm charging my mobile right now okay what's the answer for number nine think about it what's the tag question what's the tag question for number nine think about it okay some people told me that the answer is c is this and some people say it is a is it okay let me make sure the main sentence first uh, the main sentence is a negative sentence right it's a negative sentence right because i see a not here so when the main sentence is a negative sentence we use the positive one as a tag question so we cross out b we cross out d we only have to choose a or a c okay so the point is the subject this okay I told you guys in my previous lesson about tech questions whenever we see this whenever we see that as a subject in the main sentence then we never use this or that again in our tech question we use it okay we use it okay once again I'll talk about this point whenever you see the subject is this or that then in your tag question you have to use it okay you have to use it not this okay so the answer is a okay I hope you can catch me up okay because this is a very important sentence pattern in tag questions okay let's see the last one uh, number 10 is our last question so hopefully hopefully you can tell me what is the answer for number 10 okay but let me read the sentence for you those are some beautiful poems written by Richard oh hopefully I can write some poems hopefully okay number 10 can you guys tell me what 
the answer is please write down your answer in the comment those are some beautiful poems written by Richard what is the answer write down your answer in your comment please because just like I tell you all the time you need to do some brainstorming you have to think about it okay yeah some people are really smart really you're so 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 smart very good I think uh, most people got the correct answer let me make sure let me make sure which uh, let me make sure the main sentence is a positive or a negative sentence I cannot see any negative words in this main sentence so a positive main sentence then we use negative tag questions okay so we cross out a uh, sorry uh, we cross out uh, this is a positive so we use use negative we cross out a we cross out c we only have b or d here okay viewers and watchers if you still okay if you don't really leave your answers in your comment please do it now okay leave your answers in the comment b or d think about it wow you're so smart okay the answer is b let me tell you the basic rules about uh, tech questions whenever you see these or those as a subject in one main sentence like this then we use lay okay the pronoun lay in our tech question okay so that's the point so number nine and number ten are a pair of standard sentence patterns in tech questions let me tell you these rules again whenever you see this or that as a subject in the main sentence we use it in our tech question okay secondly when you see these or those as a subject in the main sentence then we use they as a pronoun in our tag question okay hopefully that's uh, clear for you because this is truly seriously extremely important for tag questions okay so viewers and watchers uh, that's all for today and uh, hopefully you have a very clear concept and understanding about tech questions and hopefully this lesson uh, helps you a lot and uh, also I will I will upload these videos to my YouTube channel if you are interested in English grammar please you visit my YouTube channel and uh, hopefully you can learn something from that and uh, see you next time okay bye bye